Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I'm Justin, and today we've got a new video on a piece of gear that we're gonna show you, and let's get back to it. Okay, so we're back here in the studio. You may have uh, noticed we haven't put out much content lately. We've we've put out some shorts here and there. Uh, we've been busy working on our Atmos systems here and all the different things and interfaces. We had to switch interfaces because we had some issues with our Apollo, or not our Apollo, our Antelope Orion. We had an Orion Studio, one of the, I believe it was one of the first generation ones. It was the silver faced one. And it just, it was a little buggy and it just, some days it would work fine, some days it wouldn't. Uh, so we ended up finding an, an audience interface that uh, you may have seen on our channel before. I won't go over it too much, but it's the uh, audience ID44, and we're actually sending our Atmos through a pair of Octopries. So that's kind of how we're doing that. We're going to do a video on that soon, on how all that connects and all the speakers and how everything's working. So, uh, but that's not the point of today's video. That was just kind of a nice update. We're going to show you this guy and you're wondering what the heck do you got in your hand there justin this is the monitor one from behringer um or behringer depending on who you talk to heard it both ways it's got not a lot of frills to it it's it's a nice metal box it's got rubber feet um on it you can see it's got a nice big volume knob and it's got a mono and a mute switch you can kind of see your mutes on this side monos on this side and they just turn on and off um it's a stereo unit so if you have need for a headphone amplifier or a, a headphone amplifier for a monitor uh, volume control this is a good option uh it sounds good i thought oh it's behringer it's probably gonna sound terrible it's gonna be cheaply made no it actually works really well it's got uh, two sets of inputs. It's got a left and a right and a stereo 1 8 and then it's got a set of XLR outputs that are left and right and then a 1 8 output as well Which is kind of neat. Um, they're super cheap. I think I paid I bought this used so what I paid is not what retail is I, I think I paid 50 bucks used so you can find them used pretty cheap uh, We used it when we were just doing the stereo monitors um, but now, since we're Atmos, we're not really using this guy anymore, but I thought I should at least review it. Um, it might go in our B room, if we ever build a B room. Uh, but, it's kind of a neat little unit. It's got, like I said, left and right, in and out, and a left and right, out. I just said that twice. Anyways, um, the one thing I can say about it is, since it is passive, none of the buttons light up. It's a passive unit. There's no power that comes in, it's just... Your input comes in and then it goes out to your speakers. Um, you can't really do it. It doesn't have a sub out. If you want to do extra, like a subwoofer, be able to mute it, you can't do it through this. You kind of have to put them in chains and do it that way, which is not a bad, bad thing to do. Um, but since the buttons don't line up, you kind of have to really pay attention to whether this is... Uh, muted or not like if this button is down and it's sitting on the desk it's kind of hard to tell the height and you can't even see it here but like but if I go here and I push it in kind of angle you're not gonna notice that it's in or out uh, but that's kind of the unit uh, I thought I'd just do a real quick little review of it we're gonna actually not be using this I thought about maybe using this for some stereo attenuation with our Atmos rig when we just have a stereo feed or I'm kind of curious if I could bring in and use it almost like a little mixer. I don't think I could bring in like guitar and vocal and just turn it up and down. But it's just a volume knob. It's a stereo volume knob. I've thought about even using it on my TV upstairs. But uh, we keep it around here. Could be useful for something. Maybe we plug guitars into it and attenuate guitars. I don't know. There's so many things you can use it for. You know, you could use it with your would be a cool thing I just thought of was if you were to use this unit as I keep spinning it around here keep using this unit as something to it maybe you've got a Kemper and you want the stereo outs to maybe not be as loud you know like you still need it quieter than what it can output or something I don't know just a thought anyways check out our other videos uh, hit the like and subscribe uh, we notice a lot of people who watch our channel aren't subscribed, so 
go hit that bell and the notification buttons and all the buttons that go like and subscribe and we'll see you next time go make some music